Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tea reading and today I'm actually using one of my beautiful fortune teller teacups. So I'll tip this in a sec, you'll get to see it. Oh, I'm trying not to tip it out there. This is a sensational Vavavoom leopard print which I just adore. So all my fortune teller teacups come with a booklet the little booklet has the actual pictures and the symbols in them of what's in the cup. And these are to make tea reading easy for everyday you. So I've got my tea here, I've drank it down, I've left about probably a teaspoon, a little bit over of water. We get a bit of swirl happening and then we roll, roll, roll. And as you can see, look at the sensational leopard print. I just love this. It's in the Etsy store. Gold on teacups, you may not realise, is 24 karat gold. So, what's the week ahead hold for everyone this week? Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll start here and I'll work my way around. We read these in um, simple form is where the tea actually lands on the symbols themselves. So just give that last drop out there. Um, we've got a bit of tea here on the house, a little bit of tea here. It actually is a very tall tree right near the mouse. Um, tea here on the house, you've got a letterbox shape here which tells me there's some news about the home and the family that's happening this week. You've also got here tall tree and you've got the mouse. So mouse is our little bit of the anxiety belly or the sweaty palms. Tree there would tell me it's something again to do with family. Um, tree is a lovely sign of abundance but together with a mouse tells me something's going on so there may be some family stuff there starting. I'm just working my way around actually got it's not quite touching but you've got a little bird here looking at the moon moon in tea symbology means um your yes it means your reflection but we often say the moon is your mirror and the moon means what you are reflecting out to the universe you are receiving back tenfold when you have here the bird looking at the moon would indicate to me of what you are saying out in the universe because bird is speech and chatter it will receive back so make sure you speak good here we've got a bit of tea, there's a whole lot of tea just here happening. You've got it on the garden arch and a little bit here on the cloud. Cloud is the foggy brain. And um, looking actually at the, the symbols that the tea itself is, you've also got a garden arch. And garden arch is beautiful and celebrations and joy and good people around. But look how large, I'm trying to bring this up here, look at this massive angel in full flight. Angel there over garden would tell me someone who was very nice, very pleasant, very sociable, who has crossed over, may come and visit you this week. You've also got here, just in this structure here, you've got a house and you've got a person here, which tells me there is someone in spirit who is a family member. They were a bright personality type here, that is coming to deliver messages around the home and family. The person here is you and you're on this side of the house and the angel's on this side of the house. Your cloud here will tell me clear the headspace, allow the messages to come in from spirit above. That's a beautiful cluster. Just don't get confused. Clear the mind, you'll read the messages and hear them nice and clear. Here we've got the lion and we've actually got here like a, a table or a desk and there's a man standing behind the desk. Um, desk is some type of business meeting um, where someone in authority is on one side of the desk and you're on the other side of the desk. The lion here is stand your ground, show your strength, your commitment, your vigour, your protective. You've also got a touch in the sun which tells me something positive will come out of a meeting or a discussion and that is a masculine energy. Lion is masculine and so is that as a man on that side of the desk. So we've also got a little bit of tea touching the leg of the ant and the ant is 
hard worker. It means um, the old way is doggedness is the word. So it means persistence. Keep at it. Keep at it. It's the diamond shape, like a card diamond on the red playing cards. And diamond is about money, success, business, power. The ant here would tell me your hard efforts will pay off quite well for you this week. You haven't got it quite touching the mountain, but it's like a tiny little peanut or a baby sitting in the water drop. When you see that there, the water drops encapsulated and the water drops are often what we call tears in a cup. So it tells me something small that may have upset you. Don't let it ground you. Don't let it um, stop you in your tracks because you've got wonderful determination here about what you are doing. So there you go for this week's reading from one of my Fortnadella teacups. And this is a stunning leopard design. So have a great week, everyone, and thanks for listening.